We're pretty much only midway along Midway today. We went past some guys that have already set the con ticky and they had some nice snapper. Now what we like to do is head further up the beach, but if they're catching snapper, we could be driving past them. They could be sort of schooling out here and we end up there and there's no fish. So we saw them pull in some real nice fish, probably up around that sort of six to eight pound. So we thought we'd um, stop sort of a little bit further up from them. It's always a good sign, um, it's always a good thing to do is when you see something like that, don't drive too far past. You might be driving past the schools of fish. So Steve-O's running three, got three sinkers. Got the um, proper contiki one here. Just got a reef in the middle. And then another proper contiki sinker there. Just offsetting it. Heading it towards the north, what was weird was um, as we were driving past there was a couple of guys that had already set pulling it in and it was hard going to the left heading south. So Steve is just going to offset it, head a little bit north. So fingers crossed we we'll get a few fish on this first set. Okay, Steve-O's cranking her in and it's definitely gone far left. So we did the right thing, we offset it to the right. Now that we're pulling it in, it's going down to that far left. But I'll walk down and I'll um, pull some line in, take some pressure off that um, winch. Quite like going that old school. Used to do the contiki with the bag. Wrap the line around your waist a couple of times over your shoulder and walk it up the beach, old school styles. So I don't mind uh, pulling a bit of line in the, the old contiki. Reminds me of the old days. Got a couple of fish here. Bit of a sandy snipper. Another, another couple of fish, nicey one there, probably around that 68, 70 centimetres, couple of nice fish. Just coming in, hooks are coming, snapper are coming, Stevo's coming. Yeah boy, a couple of goodies. Another chunky one for the bin. A little smaller but still probably about 40 centimeters. A nice fish. Another nice fish, Stevo.
Okay guys, we're all baited up, ready to go. Normally I have my surf caster out and it gives us an indication if there's any drag. It's normally a northerly drag, we're quite far up the beach. So uh, we might just offset it a little bit. Steve is off to drop her in. We've set out those um, that back sinker again. We've got three, three or four tracers sitting in behind that last sinker. Does quite well around those sinkers, so. Okay, we got some fish coming on, on the sand. A couple of fish before that sinker. couple more there. Oh we got we got orange there fella. We got orange. Yeah. Yeah. Snaps are definitely still around. Some nice snappers coming on. Yeah, boy. So that tells me if we, uh, if the tide was right for us for our surf casting, we might have uh, lucked a couple of snaps. It's a nice, nice fella there. Next one. Not a bad fish, fella. Oh, can I see orange again? <laughs> yeah, boy. Couple of carrots and snaps. Oh, and again, it's that time of year. Carrots are starting to turn up for us. It wasn't a bad soak, guys. Not bad at all. Well, there you go, guys. Not a bad haul on our first set. A couple of carrots, maybe what? Seven or eight snaps, eh? Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, I'm up Middlewai with Steve-O. He's come up from Tauranga to uh, set his kontiki. So he's picked me up on the way and uh, I've hel hel helped him set it up and it's out there now. So now it's my turn to um, flick out a bait on the surf cast. I've got the kotare with me today, so hoping to get another uh, few fish on that. steve has just got a uh, snapper. A couple of snapper. Another one. 
good that we got a couple of snapper. A lot of those baits with the hook are baited. And we're using that old mullet that you get from the gassy. And I've managed to um, catch us a kahawai and a surf caster for our uh, next our next drop. So we'll probably um, stick it out here. Steve O did about a 40 minute soak. It's a nicer fish. Just got the three there and a uh, lemon fish, which isn't too bad. Hooked up again, guys. A little bit nicer snapper. A snapper snapper here guys that little hole's going to produce for me today nothing big but a nice little fatty for the bin yeah <laughs> how's that guys there you go not a biggie but not too bad for off the beach. It's my first snapper. Okay, Steve-O's cranking her in. Got a nice snapper there, Steve-O. And another one, Steve-O. And a gurnard. Okay, got fish coming on on the scene. Oh, that's a nice fish there. That's the two that I said to uh, Steve to put in behind the uh, sinker. I quite like having those um, those baits in behind the sinker, that last sinker. Not a lot of current, it looked like it was a pre pretty small tide. Steve has got another little snapper. Another dogfish there. A couple of snaps. A little bit nicer one there. Hasn't been too bad. A couple more snaps, pretty good. We're having a real Kiwi fishing this week, Steve and I up Murawai. What we're going to be doing today, something a little bit different. We're going to be targeting Gurnard on the seahorse, on the Kontiki. It's a little bit difficult trying to figure out where they are, but I've caught them on the surfcaster before, um, on the low tide, crossed over onto that little lip, and we've caught them in that little channel. So what we're going to try and do is set those hooks so they're in that little channel and some of them on the outside of that, that far bank that breaks. So that's the plan, is trying to target some gurnard on the Kontiki. Hope we get a few, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, steve is ready to rock and roll. Hoping we only need to do the one set. 
maybe do a little bit of surf casting over that high tide in the hole and then head back home might do two sets we're sort of stuck here for six hours through that tide come in on that half tide coming in and we'll leave on that half tide going out Steve-O's cranking her in. Coming in now. Our first fish is a gurnard. We've got another one there. So even though it didn't go out that far because it went across, it could work for us for the plan of Gurnard. It's another one there. Oh. Got a couple more Gurnard there. Which is good. So far, um, hasn't been too bad. It's our fourth gurnard. Okay. Rock and roll number two. It's another gurnard, another little gurnard. It's our second set just out behind those breakers chasing gurnard. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed we've got a few more. See the first fish there. It's a fish there. Maybe a couple. Couple of couple of gurnard. Four more gurnard. Yeah boy. Another one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, boy. Oh, and another one. Yeah, boy! A line of them. They're all lined up. Yeah. Plans coming together. Yeah. Oh, and some more coming, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Mr. Gurn is coming in. 
And another one. And another one. Oh, Gurney in the house. Yeah. Well, that hasn't turned out too bad actually. Came out to target the Gurnard on the old Kontiki. Just set out behind those waves where we knew they should be. And we got a good string there on our um, second set. First set we got about four, three or four. Second set maybe seven or eight. So yeah, not too bad. Nice bin full. Okay, Steve O's ready to uh, rock and roll. He's going to drop the uh, ticky in. It's been a while. It's been a good sort of seven or eight months since we've uh, did the con ticky.
Well, there you go. Got all the hooks on. Still heading out. Just going to do about a uh, 20 minute run. Not sure how long we'll soak it. There you go, guys. Some yellowtail starting to come up on the shoreline. There's another one down there. Might even be a snapper. <laughs> Kawaii. Eh? Snapper. <laughs> it's a nice one too. Fish of the day! Woohoo! Oh, when we were setting the Contiki up. We were sending the contiki out, it actually hooked up my um, surf cast trace. There you go guys, it's a nice fish. Well, there you go guys, our first set, got four snaps, quite a nice one there, and um, all the bait, all the bait's pretty much gone, got a couple of kawai, Steve has got one up there, he's carving up now, what we're going to do is pretty much stay put, obviously there's fish out there, all the bait's gone, and like I was saying, it was soft, it was quite soft bait, it was a trevally that we found on the beach, had a bit of uh, mullet there from the gassy. And now that we've got our favorite bait, we'll put on some big kawai baits and we'll try another set. See what happens. That bit of fish is probably around that eight or nine pound. And um, I'd say there'll be more of them out there. Okay, ready to rock and roll. Fresh kawai baits. I'm just going to run a couple, a couple behind it. Okay, Steve-O's cranking and our second set in. She's pretty heavy again. Another heavy one. Heavier than last one. Got him on the low though, so it might just be. A little bit more like working for your fish. Yep. That's 
one of those uh, traces before the sinker. Not a bad snap. Well takeable. I've been around that probably 36, 37. A couple of um, smaller fish, which is always nice to have. It's still around that sort of 35, 36. It's nice to have a couple of smaller fish. All the bait's gone pretty much up those that top end. fish the couple actually not a bad fish at all that one around that seven pound and another nice one to finish the set off I think End. Last hook. Steve has got our first fish. Nice fish too. Not a bad fish. Steve has got another one down there. It's a little bit hard with only two of us. We've got fish coming on on board for us. Steve is doing fine. Another nice fish. Another fish. Oh no, Steve has got a big fish. Steve has got a big fish, probably close to 20 pound. Not sure if he's going to go, but let's have a shot. Just hold him. Just hold him there. See if he'll have a bit of a kick. Labor Day. Ow! Grab. Sorry guys, we tried to get him back, but he's just not going to go, it's a bit of a bummer. 
steve has got another fish the one about sort of 45 He's got another one. We were thinking of doing a set tomorrow instead of tonight, but it looks like uh, tonight was the go. We won't need to do one tomorrow. We'll be able to just head off home. There's Steve with another one. steve has got another nice fish there's a lot of nice fish coming well there you go guys it was a pretty epic set it was our last set from up north been here for a few days and yeah, thought we'd have a crack tonight and take some fresh fish home. And we've definitely done that. So yeah, bit of a bummer he didn't go back. But um, it was quite good. Not actually getting over our limit either. I was a little bit worried there. There was a few livey kind of fish kicking around. We could have let go anyway if we needed to. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, we definitely did. And it's great to take some fresh fish home for the family. And until next time, tight lines.